everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. Hear ye, hear ye. Real Man Association come to order. All real man presents say real man. Real man. Real These man. are the new stepdaddy laws. Rule number one. If I'm stepdaddy 24-7 out of the day, there's no way in the hell that the baby daddy should come around every other weekend and have more power than me. Nah. Rule number two. Don't, don't, don't act like you putting up with my kids when they come around and then you want me to treat your kids like I signed a birth certificate. Nah. <laughs> Rule number three, if we living under the same roof, I should never have to check your baby daddy. Shit, that's your job. Nah. Rule number four, if I'm paying all the bills, doing homework, picking them up to and from school and buying clothes and shoes and shit like that, then I should be able to beat their ass. Nah. If they own my insurance and they ever say you ain't my daddy, what the fuck? <laughs> What the, what what happened to what's going on with them rules like? Rule number four: is, If I'm paying all the bills, doing homework, picking them up to and from school, and buying clothes and shoes and shit like that, then I should be able to beat their ass. All right. As a stepdaddy, that's a no no. Okay, we're not beating nobody's ass around here. Okay. Uh, Luckily, at the end of this video, you could figure out something was up with this list. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really had no problem with the first couple ones, but number four was way off. And then, getting to number five. Nah. If they own my insurance and they ever say you ain't my daddy, what the fuck? When you let your nuts hang. Right. Hear ye, hear ye. Real Man Association come to order. All real man presents say real man. Real man. These are the new stepdaddy laws. Rule number one. Man. <laughs> hey, my brother got to be a mason. <laughs> if I'm stepdaddy 24-7 out of the day, there's no way in the hell that the baby daddy should come around every other weekend and have more power than me. Hey, let's talk about that. Do stepdaddies really come around? I mean, do y'all date women where stepdaddies come around? I mean, the, oh, not stepdaddies. The baby daddy come around and have more power? Like, I don't I don't know what that's about. Like, why is she even with you? Like, if, if a woman is, like, what is he doing? What does he mean by a baby daddy has more power? Like, do you want to have the kid more? You want to spend more time with somebody else's kid than the baby daddy or something? I don't get it. Or like, does the baby daddy want to be in the kid's life more and he has more say-so on what he does with his kid? Like, yeah, nigga, he should. And that's, you just sit back, relax, you know? <laughs> relax, nigga. Uh, but then again, shit, it's just like at the same time, y'all got to work together, especially if you there all the time. Like, what's going on? If you're a mature man, you should have no... There should be no reason why you couldn't reach out to the other father, the, the father, and y'all work something out. Y'all be tag teaming with the kids, cause that's how shit should work. And niggas could get along like that if women to get out the way. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it usually goes when women, when a woman is in the way. Cause you, I ain't never had a problem with my baby mama's boyfriends or other baby daddies or none of that shit. Cause I don't really give a damn. Y'all can have her, you know. Just, you know, I say stay out the way when it comes to me and my kid. When you in the way, you know, I'm going to say something about you. But then again, I don't like step, I don't like girls that have boyfriends. And she is, she. if, if a nigga sit there and know she doing him wrong and he don't do nothing, man, hey, hey, big dog, I have, hey, that's the worst type of nigga you could be. Like, you don't want to be sitting around and watching your girl hold the kids from another man. That was, you know, you will be feeling like a simp. Like, it's some things about some other people that I did videos on and I heard some stories about them. And I'm just like, damn, I didn't know it was like that. But, you know, I wouldn't be with no girl that's holding no kids away from, uh, you know, they, they baby, they daddy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, basically, you just got to, you know, as a stepdaddy, you just got to stay out the way. And, you know what I'm saying? When they had their conversations, if you married this woman, if you married this woman, 
there's only two ways this stepdaddy situation could go. If that nigga don't like you, he ain't gonna never like you. But he gotta he gotta deal with you because you married to her. Now he gonna change his whole perception. Gonna be like, hey man, I'm married to her. I ain't going nowhere. So we gotta figure this out. But you ain't about to be fighting her. If you gotta talk to me, if you wanna do something, you got you gotta talk to me through me. If you wanna do it through me, man, we could do it through me. But shit, cause but you ain't about to be calling my wife a bitch. You ain't about to be doing. You know, I ain't that shit ain't finna be cracking, my nigga. Like nothing like that. You know. So at the same time, you just gotta work that shit out. And sometimes I guess a dude will work with it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, ain't no man ever approached me and was like, or had to approach me and was like, hey man, can we just be civil? Cause you know, oh my bitches can't keep a man. Oh, my exes, they just, they just, they just don't get no better than me. God damn. I mean, you see what happens. I be trying to tell them, they don't want to listen. Anyway, everyday people, man, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about the stepdaddy laws. Is it in? Is it out? I don't know. Everyday people, holla at your peace.